Is something troubling you, Ingrid? Oh, Sedith. You seem to have caught me when I thought nobody was around. Perhaps I can help, if you would like to share. I wouldn't want to bother you with my trivialities. I will not pry, of course. But if you keep it to yourself, no one will be able to help you. That's true. It's regarding my father. Count Galatea. I have met him once or twice. Well, you have likely heard that House Galatea's financial situation is precarious. Many regions of Fargus are harsh and infertile, but our lands are especially so. There were several years of fruitless harvests. It nearly ruined us. We could barely feed our troops. Then I was born bearing a crest, after generations bore none. Suddenly my family hung its future on me. My father had hopes that with my crest, I'd be married into a noble family, and that House Galatea's financial troubles would be a thing of the past. Ah, I see. And the other house would benefit from the addition of your crest-bearing blood. It seems to me you have suffered much for the misfortune of being born with a crest. I beg your pardon? I know crests are highly valued, but they are also a burden. My feelings are mixed. You truly think so? But you're so devoted to the goddess. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. Perhaps one day I will expound upon my opinion of crests in greater detail with you. For now, let it suffice to say that whether or not you bear one is secondary to your identity. You are a person, first and foremost. And you should be permitted to grow as a person, crest or not. I agree. Thank you for listening. If you ever wish to discuss this again, consider me available whenever you please. Thank you so much.